What is up? Welcome to Talent Scout Reacts. My name is Ryan, former Talent Scout, indie major labels, current music management agency owner here with another banger. This one I'm really excited for because I haven't touched on this genre yet in the, in the very brief history of my channel. For those that don't know, I'm a big EDM electronic music fan. Not only that, I produced and DJed uh, dubstep trap. Uh, just bass music in general, but even breakbeat from 2014 to 2017, 18, I can't remember. That was a really fun period of my life that I got to do some really cool stuff with, and uh, this music still holds near and dear to my heart. The song we're going to be checking out tonight is Excision and Sullivan King Unbound. Uh, Sullivan King just came out with a new, I guess you'd call it an album. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows Excision. They probably, he, I say they, I'm so used to bands. Excision probably has one of the most cult followings I've seen in the music scene, not just bands, artists, whatever. Sullivan King, I'm very impartial to because he does something that I've always wanted to do and I wanted to do when I was a DJ and he's done it so well that it, it almost was like, don't do it because you're just, you're not going to be nearly to that level. And what I'm talking about is He's a producer and DJ, but he also plays guitar, not only in his productions, but on stage at these EDM shows. So it like gives an instrumental value to his just not sitting there behind CDJs or what have you and, and doing his set. He's got the whole thing going and it really shows up well in his production. So if you don't know these guys, this pairing here, and I know they've done songs in the past together, but this pairing here is, is one that, that I wanted to make sure I hit on because it's probably going to be really cool to hear. Um, I have high expectations. Without further ado, let's check this out. Alright, a little softer than I expected off the bat. I've never been good new Visuals are really cool. I have no idea who's actually singing here. To my knowledge, neither producer or DJ does vocals, but that could have changed since I last checked them out. A lot of auto-tune on anyways. Okay, here comes the bill. This music is, you know, as good as it is, it's very predictable in regards to song structure. That kick is real nice. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Pause it. I, like I said in my intro, I'm used to these two guys having a certain sound, and obviously they're allowed to deviate from that. And I think they have here, perhaps. This, this, and and it'll become more clear to me as I keep listening. But you would kind of file this under the genre of uh, either melodic dubstep or future bass. Um, again, I don't know specifically. I gotta listen to more of it. But it's definitely a departure from what I'm used to from these two. But let's keep going. like a key change in there. It's like a lot of saw, a lot of like pads. And it distorts the vocals, but not in a way that's ugly. So there's the guitar. Okay, this could go a couple of ways. Pop 
pause it again. So for the people watching this that don't know much about EDM in general, these builds go into what are called drops. And I guess drops are very similar to either choruses or breakdowns, depending on how they happen. But it's it's very predictable in the genre, and it's not a bad thing because, again, you kind of want it to be for your, your crowd who's dancing to your music when you're DJing it. But um, I'm curious where this one's going to go because it sounds heavy. It sounds like there'd be a really dope drop here, but it could just go back to a chorus. Let's find out. Gotta be heavy, come on. Oh. I miss shit like this. If I was still DJing, this would be on my playlist, hands down. It's even got some what they call rhythm in the background, which is kind of like really monotone bass music, but it's it's really nice with the melody here. I think that's it. Wow. Okay. So a couple of things. Number one is it's really interesting how three quarters of the song is really chill. And then you can tell when that guitar comes in and that last drop comes in there's a change in atmosphere and I'm thinking as a DJ how I would I mean I wouldn't have a lot of time here because you'd probably want to to cue it in the middle of the song by cue it I mean start it or mix it in with a different song and then you'd want to start mixing in the new song when that heavy drop hits um, so it's it's not heavy all the way through so you kind of have to play with it as a DJ from a listener standpoint by itself after and again this is why I paused it in that first drop this is what I expect from these guys. If it would have been mild and mellow the whole time, I would have been a little bit confused. But hearing everything together, that is this is this is this is what Excision and Sullivan can do, and they do it well. And I'm really excited to check out the rest of this album that dropped today because it, it brought back, especially that ending part. It brought back some really fun times in my life, and and uh, that's that. It's just something that I've really looked forward to hearing again, and it's refreshing to hear again. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, su subscribe, and share, and do all the fun stuff. And uh, yeah, you'll you'll hopefully we'll be hearing more EDM on the channel, and I'll be checking out you know uh, some new releases. With that being said, have a nice life.